What is good YouTube and welcome back to another episode of the channel about sneakers and vintage. And for today's video, we are going to get into a underrated sneaker. No, I'm not going to get into a full in-depth review because the shoe did release a couple months ago. However, I do want to show it off. I'm going to give you guys an on foot uh, at the end of the video and all that stuff. But we're going to unbox this shoe right here. Very underrated shoe. If you can tell by that signature in the front, you probably already know what this shoe is. But before we dive into that, please, if you are tuning in for the first time and you like this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as drop a like. Make sure that like button is blue because it helps me out. It is king in YouTube's algorithm. So to help me grow one step at a time, you gotta like the video. And of course, turn on them notifications so you don't miss any dope content that I have to drop. And with that being said, I'm just trying to get right into the shoe. I gotta show y'all the shoe. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, it's underrated. Not a lot of people like it. But uh, anyway, opening it, let's get this out the way. Box not important. There is a couple details on the box, but it's just a box at the end of the day. But anyway, it does come with a tote bag. Uh, Adidas slash Sean Witherspoon tote bag. It has printing on the front and back. It has Adidas and Sean Witherspoon here. And then on the back, it reads like how it has all the details and where the details and stuff come from. And the materials used, for example, it says, number one, it's vegan. Two, the upper materials is all recycled, 100% recycled polyester, sock liner, and so, you know, just stuff like that. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I think this shoe is underrated. And that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with this shoe. Because if you have been tuning in to this channel uh, for quite a bit, then you know Sean Weatherspoon is my favorite creative influencer. Um, I absolutely love anything Sean Weatherspoon does. Um, not only do I like his designs, you know, like his outlook on stuff when he creates things, but I also like the messages that he stands for using all 100% recycled material, mainly only wearing reworked stuff and doing vintage type clothing as well as 100% vegan type stuff. Just things like that are also values that I like to do. If you know, like my channel, I wear a lot of vintage stuff, not only because it's the cool thing now, it's because it's reworked clothes. I don't have to keep going to buy uh, clothes and stuff like that. So I'm just doing my part to help the uh, the earth that we live on because I'm a big nature guy. You guys know that. Um, you probably don't know that. I only said it one time in this video, but I'm a big nature guy. David Attenborough is like top five favorite persons ever. So like it just all go hand in hand. So that's one of the reasons why I just absolutely love anything Sean Winspoon do. Anyway, I ain't got nothing to do with the shoe. This is the shoe here. The Super Turf Adventures Adidas by Sean Weatherspoon. And right off the bat, first impressions, this is a crazy shoe. It's a crazy shoe. Now I can see why a lot of people might not like it. I can see why it's reselling for very, very low. It's just not an appealing shoe at first look. However, the details, the message behind it, and Sean Weatherspoon being the creator of this shoe, I had to cop. I absolutely love this shoe. If you guys do not know, this was also kind of a Disney collab as well, because here we got my dog, Jiminy Cricket. If you follow Sean Witherspoon on Instagram, he gave away this same shoe. If people would guess which was his favorite Disney character, which also was a hint to this shoe. And Jiminy Cricket was the winner. Didn't even guess that. I thought it was gonna be like Goofy or something. I don't know. Who, like, I ain't got no, I have no idea about Jiminy Cricket. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I think of Disney Channel, Goofy, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. I don't know nothing about no Jiminy Cricket. But he did admit that that was his favorite Disney character. And that's what this shoe is based off of. All the colors and stuff like that. Like, the blue is from his hat. The green right here is from, obviously, his skin and stuff like that. So, I just really enjoyed his shoe. Um, a lot of things, too, is that corduroy material. Look at that material on that toe cap. Also on the side panels, on the lateral and medial side, like I love corduroy materials. And if you know Sean Witherspoon, he also loves, loves, loves corduroy material. And one crazy thing about this shoe that it comes with is this little corduroy pouch. I think it's like a, like you hold like probably money in there or maybe just coins and stuff. This zips open. It has a lanyard inside that you can take this off actually, as you can see. You can actually take it off of the shoestrings. I'm gonna keep it on there, because I think it's a super dope touch. It's very different. Not, I don't know a shoe that has a pouch on the freaking laces. Um, I don't think it's going to mess up the shoe at all. It's not gonna mess up the shoe look. Um, I'll show you on foot with it on. I think it's very dope, and the fact that it's all corduroy materials, and you can take it off and just like wear it as one of those necklace type things, 
with the Sean Weatherspoon branding right here. Super dope touch. Um, but anyway, the one reason like I really think it's underrated is because of the materials it's made out of. Like 100% recycled material, 100% vegan material. Um, I know a lot of people don't look at those minor details when it comes to shoes and stuff like that. But that's something that I really enjoy about Sean Weatherspoon and all of his creations. With, uh, he has like five five or six vintage stores and he fell in love with vintage not because it looked cool or because he just wanted a shirt from 1980 it's because it's reworked clothes like it's not you're not wasting anything you're wearing clothes that were made back then you're just re-wearing it and reusing it and stuff like that and his weatherspoon designs all those pants that you see with the patchwork with the uh the flowers that he used on his adidas superstars like all that stuff right there with those pants all that is reworked material. He's not buying more material or having people make pants for him and then doing the designs on it. He's finding older pants. He goes to these big clothing dumps. He goes to get those clothing and then he sells them after he reworks them with patch stuff and does his own design on them. And he just wears reworked clothing and stuff like that. I just really appreciate his genuine, his authentic, authenticity with his stuff and that he just uses a good message like with his clothing design that fashion don't have to just be fast fast fashion like you know the fashion over the sheens the people that just try to create stuff like use rework stuff use 100 percent re recycled material and you can still create something super dope and i absolutely love this shoe man like i i hey I cannot wait to put these on feet. If you see my Instagram at QAcre, then you see then you see that I did uh, get a preview of these shoes. I haven't put them on foot yet in terms of like taking pictures and stuff like that, but I absolutely love them. And I think I am forgetting one more thing before we get into that on foot. Oh yeah, I oh, am. Yeah. They do come with extra laces, purple with yellow. Not a fan. I love this blue. I love the way it complements the rest of these colors. The new Adidas midsole for hiking and stuff like that. They featured that on here too with the air bubble here. This is just, hey, I absolutely love this shoe. The Jiminy Cricket on the tongue, like just super small details like that. And you see right here in that box how he featured the Jiminy Cricket with his head cut. Like, I just, I, I enjoy the shoe a lot. Uh, so to say it's underrated is probably a little bit unfair. It's just about preference and stuff like that. But if you guys have a chance to get these in hand, there are going way under retail i got this for 40 dollars under retail so if you are looking to just see these in hand it also has 3d not 3d the reflective material at the very top right here i don't know if you can see that like it's just a whole bunch of details on this shoe that just makes it extremely dope and i absolutely love it can't wait to put an outfit together with these but um like i said i will be doing an on foot at the end of this video so please stay tuned for that i hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review or mini conversation about this sneaker, very underrated 2021. I absolutely love this sneaker. If you have a chance to get your hands on it, I don't mean just buy it, I'm just talking about put it in your hands and like actually look over the, over the shoe. I think you will actually fall in love with this shoe, but definitely a shoe a lot of people need here. But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this review or whatever you wanna call it. On foot at the end, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're tuning in for the first time, as well as drop a like on this video. If you like the shoe, drop a like please i am this close to a thousand subscribers before 2022 and i would love to have my goal reached and with that being said hit that bell to turn on the notifications before i let you guys go you know the quote you know the model to end it all off aim high spread love i'm out